Hello everybody, I'm going to go through some troubleshooting on a, uh, this is a main module for a Columbia, uh, it's also on the Daytona, Evanston, and Flex lanes, uh, the bezel on the front, on the Flex lanes is a bit different, but it's just a matter of taking off screws on the side, uh, I can get to that in a minute. Uh, first off, common bill jams. Um, there's a little window here. You should be able, you might be able to see cash in there, but not get it out. It's jammed in there. Um, you can also see jams here in the back. Occasionally they'll jam up back there. It's just a matter of taking them out. This frame is actually bent just a touch, but that's all right. So if we want to get a bill out from underneath, we have two little squeezy uh, tabs here. We lift those up. This is the plunger that will push cash down into the cash box. You want to make sure that's moving freely without any issues. Never had that get jammed on me, though. What you want to do, you carefully lift these up and get your fingers in there. And this mechanism here goes back and forth, if you can see it on the video. But you can get in there and manually roll this little by little until your bill, bill appears. And then it's just a matter of grabbing it. And uh, sometimes you need to get in there with uh, a pair of tweezers or whatever you have. And hopefully, when you put it all back together, it will start up and you'll be good. Uh, another issue I see commonly, um, especially on our Columbia units... Um, See if I can get this position the best way possible. Uh, these cords here, when you put it back into the unit, they can get caught. Um, some cashiers may not be um, aware or they may use too much force uh, when, it, when it angles or um, gets pushed back into the, into the uh, housing into the checkout so these these cords here can catch if they're really too hard on it if they force it if anybody forces it so I'll show you how to fix that you'll end up getting a uh, showing up for a uh, bill handler offline air so obviously we have uh, power and data here that go that connects into the back of the lane So we'll need to take a Torx bit. Uh, I don't know what size this is offhand. I've I've got it blacked out, and uh, so I can recognize it easily in my pocket. Let's take off these four. This panel just uh, rotates off, and if you can see it here, this is off. And that is the power, or that is actually data, excuse me. This is power. This is power here. This is data going into this little circuit board. So that just comes out. Uh, you may have to adjust this screw to undo it.
and you can pull your cable out back and forth and adjust it and just pop it back into that slot there into where it should be get a close up of that but it should be pretty noticeable Just go through the you have little tabs here you just gotta tuck inside when you're putting it back on nothing too tricky So that panel's back on for the most part. I can always put them, put the others back on off camera. Uh, I'll take this back part again, off again. Um, there are, you obviously see gears and uh, your rubber, rubber bands here, rubber belts. Sometimes uh, I have seen these come off and my bill will come up up through the, uh, the back of the spine unit on the rest of the B&R module uh, and it will get stuck here at the bottom. It just doesn't know what to do once it gets there because there's a belt off and it gets jammed right at the top here at, or at the bottom top of the spine bottom of the main module here uh, and I'll rotate this you'll see bills stuck right down below there where they're coming in to the main module um, so you get sometimes it's hopefully just as easy as uh, replacing a belt back onto its gears uh, one other thing I've seen with um, after jams, um, if they, hopefully most jams are recoverable and that's not an issue. Um, one error I've seen come up is um, BUEC cannot find mark. Um, I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, it's, and you can usually hear that it's when it's going through its motions uh, during its initialization phase, it's just not quite sounding right. Uh, maybe it's a little grindy. Maybe it's just not just not making the right noises. Um, so somewhere in there, it can't find its mark. Uh, whatever that means, uh, I'm not really sure, but I've never been able to... Um, get around it without replacing the entire uh, main module. Um, let me actually take this back off, show you the bezel. nothing too tricky about it uh, if you really if you're in a pinch and you don't have the um, other version of the main module uh, it's a it's a little bit bigger torque screw but you just take off that screw and that screw uh, you will flip it over do the same thing on the other side uh, take that bezel off the new one goes right back in without any issues it just screws right back in place there's Really no other difference with that unit. Okay, so hopefully that uh, helps a couple of things.